Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about the newest additions for Season of the Chosen and what all of these things mean. What is a helm? What is a war table? What is a battleground? We'll talk about that next. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. We know for a while that Bungie's been really hit and miss with the seasonal model, and it looks like they're actually trying to build something that they can build on top of and sustain. And so let's talk about what they're doing for Season of the Chosen. So as soon as you get into the game, after you download the update for the season, you'll notice that you're brought into a battleground. The battleground is this season's player match-made activity that you kind of grind on. It's pretty simple mechanics and it's all centered around the Cabal. Essentially, what you'll be doing is killing waves of Cabal. After you kill your first wave, you'll notice that a larger Cabal will come in, you kill him, you get an Arc Charge. You'll take that Arc Charge and you'll essentially use it to detonate a series of three explosive devices which push you on to the next area. Again, you'll kill some additional Cabal and then you'll eventually be brought into a commander. The commander has three segments of health. You take his first segment down, he brings a shield up. You'll then have a larger cabal, which is a shield bear. You take him down, that takes a shield down. That allows you to do damage. Again, you just can rinse and repeat until you get to the end, and you get some loot at the end. So this is obviously your first introductory to this. Once you're complete with this, you'll be invited to the helm. And, and what is the helm? The helm stands for the Hub for Emergency and Logistics and Maneuvers. Sounds like they tried to make an acronym work, but hey, still kind of a cool thing. It's an instance area that's off of the tower, and it's it's pretty cool. It's What you can tell here is that it appears that Destiny and Bungie are trying to build something that they can use over the series of seasons, and potentially this could be something that could be used long term. For me, this is kind of interesting because I would like to see Bungie do more of this because the more they can build on things like this that they can then build over seasons, the more development resources that'll free up to do other things. So I think this is a step in the right direction. Once you get the, into the helm, you'll notice it's, again, a completely self-sufficient area. It's got a copy of the vault. It's got a copy of your postmaster. It's also got um, a prismatic caster and an umbral decoder like you had before, but we'll get back to that in a second. As you're first coming into this area, you'll be introduced to Zavala again. He'll do some, some dialogue. You'll also talk to Saladin, who is in charge of the Battlegrounds this series, season. And then the other thing is, you'll actually talk to Crow and Osiris. Crow actually sticks around, and he's towards the back. He acts as a vendor, but you can't do anything with him right now. And he's near a door that's not open. My guess is that in the future, you'll be able to do some stuff with him in this location. So keep an eye on that. You'll notice as you're doing the initial quest for the season, now, one of the things that you will get is a hammer approving. Now, as part of that, you you basically power that up with charges, similar like the Crithalith that we had in the last season. You do that from paying core activities, strikes, crucible, that sort of thing. And as you do that, that allows you at the end of Battlegrounds to actually, you'll normally get like a normal chest, but if you have one of these charges, you'll actually be able to get an additional reward from that activity. Now, to gain upgrades to this hammer of proving and to do additional things with the core activity, the battleground, you'll have to level up your reputation with the war table. Now, how do you do that? What it appears like in this season, again, I like this model, is that they're going to have these seasonal challenges that you complete week over week. Now, these challenges don't go away, so there's no FOMO where you're like, hey, I got to do the first or second week. You can do this over time. It just depends on how quickly you want to level things up. But as you do that, you will have a screen that's similar to Varix where you did the different challenges in Beyond Light, and you'll actually gain additional charges, a different, additional things for hammer approving, additional rewards, and things like that. So again, that's what, it, what they're trying to get you to is in this core thing of, hey, do certain things like, you know, go play this many strikes or kill these sort of things. If you do those things, not only will you get um, Glimmer, not only will you get Bright Dust, but you'll also be able to level up this war table, which will allow you to upgrade the Battleground piece. And if you look at it, they've added Battleground as a core activity within, uh, within the Vanguard. So it appears that with this war table, with this Battleground, this is something that they're going to build out season over season. Again, that'll allow them to do better things for the game in general. So again, that's a positive. In addition, as you level up your war table, you'll be able to get, there is an actual emblem and there's a ship that you can get. You know, all Bungie players will go crazy for that stuff. So obviously as you level up, that'll be another thing. You can also buy mods from this. So there are mods I think you can use within the activities. So again, that's another thing. We'll actually be getting some sort of seasonal mods. We'll, we'll see which ones are good, but that's obviously something you can do as well. Now, getting back to what I talked about earlier, obviously Umbo Ingrams are back. And obviously with Umbo Ingrams, if you remember, 
from when this was in Destiny 2 before, you can obviously turn those in and get various rewards. So there'll be different things you can turn in. Now, you can do those exactly how they're done normally, or you can focus them into specific things that you want, right? And so because for that, you have the Prismatic Recaster. Now, the Recaster this season is a little bit different, and I actually like where they're going with this. So for the Recaster, obviously, you can have some of the focus happen based on doing certain types of kills, like sniper kills from the seasonal weapon, things like that. You can also get certain sort of engrams from the actual tribute chest that you have within the Battleground event. So again, if you look at this too, when you come into the recaster, it actually has an area that says Season of the Chosen. So if you think about this, this is obviously going to be an ongoing grind that Destiny is going to put in. They're going to do it different things per season where you can get certain world drops, but you can also get certain things from the season, right? And you can get some of them by actually getting kills from things from the season and from doing the seasonal event. So again, this is this grind loop. It appears that it's going to be really repeatable. Now, I don't know if that next season that means they're going to have a different version of the Battleground, if they're going to do a different event. But it appears that the Umbrals and the Prismatic Recasters are here to stay, and which is great because, again, that was a great loot grind. And with that, you're able to get very specific about what you wanted, whether it was a specific type of armor, um, filling in spots for certain things. It's a very repeatable loot grind, and it's a great thing that they're bringing it back. So as we go through the season, my assumption is, is that we're going to see this continue to be fleshed out. There are probably going to be additional things that are added to this. There's going to be additional battlegrounds that show up. So I assume there's additional mods. There's going to be additional achievements that you can get. And with the seasonal achievements, which tie into this, there's going to be a lot that slowly kind of drips out over the season. So again, I do feel like this is a, a good upgrade to what they've been doing with seasons. We'll see how it goes in. But it's clear if you want armor, my guess is even later in the season, you'll probably see them putting high stat armor and things like that through this activity. Again, that's going to be something that's really repeatable and something I think that's of great value. Again, that's the video, guys. Um, you know, this is a pretty interesting activity. We'll see if it has longevity, but it is something different, and it definitely is an improvement over last season's seasonal event. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.